Why don't you lead us off, Suzanne, and uh, let us know, uh, you know, what this whole thing about uh, Wilkie is and, you know, why his tenure was so problematic. Well, he's uh, raised a lot of hackles recently because of um, his response to a 2019 complaint from a veteran who was assaulted, she said, in uh, the Washington, D.C. VA, it turns out, by a private contractor. Mm -hmm. And rather than dealing efficiently and effectively and supportively uh, with the claim, Wilkie instead tried to impugn her credibility, and, and, and that was his response. And so... An OIG report from the VA Office of Inspector General just came out saying that this was really seriously mishandled, it was insensitive, it was very bad, and so a lot of groups have called for Trump to fire Secretary Wilkie. Um, we at VHPI have always been critical of Wilkie. We think this is one among many reasons um, why he should have been fired a long time ago. Um, and, I mean, back in 2017, he pushed out Kayla Williams, who was an Iraq vet, who was then director of the um, Center for Women Veterans in the, in the VA. And um, so his, his tenure has been... Uh, characterized by a complete failure to respond to veterans' needs, whether it's women veterans, male veterans, LGBTQ veterans, any kind of veteran you want. Um, he okay. failed to fill 50,000 vacancies, which would have helped women veterans. So this is just really, in our view, the tip of a very, very big iceberg that should have... Uh, warranted much more protest from veterans advocates way long ago. It's kind of a last-minute salvo, and obviously, I mean, I would be very surprised if Trump would fire Wilkie. He's been a total loyalist. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if Jasper has some, some comments or you have some more questions, but... Yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's really amazing, because this whole thing is unprecedented, because you were mentioning the uh, leading veterans organizations, six of them, the American Legion, VFW, right. Disabled uh, American Veterans, AMVETS, I mean, uh, veterans, you know, uh, Vietnam vets of, um, <clears throat> you know, um, that are, you know, up in arms about this, you know, the Vietnam Veterans of America. And then we also have the uh, Paralyzed Veterans of America joining forces. So this is really, um, a, really a, a bright, bright, uh, red-hot spotlight on this, right? Uh, so, yeah, tell us more about this, uh, Jasper, what, you know, your view on this. Yeah, sure. Well, I just am happy to add a bit more of context to Wilkie's tenure. As Suzanne noted, he, from uh, his first days in the job, was plagued by scandal and controversy. Um, during his Senate confirmation hearings, uh, lawmakers raised serious questions over his past role as a active member in a neo-confederate group the sons of confederate veterans yes. uh wilkie also worked for two segregationist senators when he first moved to washington and um in his uh work for one of them uh blatantly uh race baited uh an opponent in a senate election um, in, in South Carolina, he also suggested that the man running against his boss, uh, this black man, uh, was accepting money from the homosexual community. So if you really look um, between the lines of Robert Wilkie as a man and leader, there's a lot of very concerning behavior and ideology. Um, mm -hmm. In office, Wilkie also defended the displaying of Nazi symbols. Uh, at veteran cemeteries as lawmakers were trying to scrub them uh, from those places. He defended um, VA hospitals named after uh, segregationists and Confederate leaders. Um, and, you know, when it just comes to the day-to-day -day work of the VA providing health care and benefits, he 
has really not um, followed the wishes of veterans advocates and has instead uh, really pushed a pretty massive outsourcing of care to the private sector. Yeah, and also he's refused to fill vacancies that he's statutorily obliged to fill. He's supposed to, he's statutorily obliged to uh, to staff the agency so that it can deliver care. So, you know, this is just one of a of a long line, as we both said, of, of really egregious behavior. And what's sort of disturbing to us, I think, is that a lot of this behavior was tolerated. And, you know, the, the news of this, of, I mean, what happened to Andrew Goldstein, this is sort of old news. I mean, the, the, the OIG report just came out, but there were a lot of reports about Wilkie's conduct uh, after the initial re- complaint was made, it, it's it's a little bit late. Sadly, I, I, we both I think wish that there had been more protest against not only his his attitudes towards female veterans, but um, you know his attitudes towards uh, uh, minority veterans and. And black and brown and veterans and, 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 you know, people LGBTQ, it's, it's really quite disturbing. Um, and it's disturbing that this late in the game, people are asking for his firing rather than when, when it all became very clear what kind of quote unquote leader he will be. Yeah, I, you know, I had to, you know, I read some of the statements that he uh, made previously, and he was saying Jefferson Davis was a martyr to the lost cause and called him an exceptional man in an exceptional age in 1995. And I had to really check that date. I was, I was, I was thinking he was talking like in the 1800s when I was reading these statements. <laughs> and uh, he did this at a speech on the Capitol grounds, and he also called abolitionists who opposed slavery radical um, mendacious and enemies of liberty and stated the Confederate cause was honorable. So this is someone that, <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I'm looking at the person that who was supposed to have taken that spot, right? We had Ron, um, Ronnie Jackson who uh, was withdrawn, uh, you know, had to withdraw his bid for that position uh, due to uh, allegations of a hospital work environment, you know, excessive drinking uh, on the job, and also improperly um, you know, uh, dispensing medications on an ad hoc basis to anyone who wants them. <laughs> and, you know, so, you know, I, I, I'm wondering, you know, if that was enough to stop someone from being appointed. And then I look at these, this history, and, and seeing what he's done so far, uh, I can see why these veteran organizations are so um, energized to, to ask for his resignation. Well, yeah, but the question really is, yeah. you know, this is – We are very supportive. I mean, we think he should have been asked to resign, Mm -hmm. you know, years ago. He should have never been appointed Ah, um, with the history that he has. And it's easy now, three weeks before, four weeks, what is it, you know, before the inauguration, it's easy to to raise these issues. We Ah. wish that these issues had been raised way earlier um i mean and you know like i say it's and we jasper and i wrote about this for veterans Healthcare policy institute in our report on the staffing crisis kayla williams who's really a poster child for uh female veterans and their needs she was doing remarkable things at the office for women veterans and the VA, and she was pushed out by Trump. Mm-hmm. This was before, I believe, was it Jasper? Was it before Wilkie came on or or after? Uh, that's a good question. I, I'm not sure. I think it but, was after. Yeah, but, I mean, you know, this is a woman who was really taking great steps and making great strides <clears throat> in making the VA more welcoming to women. I mean, she had photographs of female veterans. They were doing national baby showers. They were really making great strides. Mm -hmm. And then she was pushed out over a 
sort of snafu and, in, you know, a, cre- a created, manufactured problem uh. um, with the administration. But the administration did not want someone effective taking care of women veterans. That was That is not their goal. And then, you know, um, the cuts in mental health, the cuts in the failure to hire staff, I, I sound like a broken record, but this is extremely detrimental to women veterans um, yeah. and to all veterans, but particularly, you know, women veterans. So we hope that when the new administration comes in, that A, the new administration will not repeat the kind of egregious problems of Trump and will reverse um, a lot of the damage that's been done. But we also hope that the VSOs will be assertive advocates all the time and really uh, champion the expansion of VA Bennett's to, say, women veterans who have bad paper discharges. You know, it's interesting right. that the Legion, the VFW uh, AMVETs that are championing women veterans now, they all have restrictive membership uh, rules that don't allow women veterans who have bad paper discharges, often because they reported sexual assaults, they don't allow those women veterans to belong to their organizations. Oh, that, yeah, that, that's not... Uh, that's uh, not good. No, no, no. <clears throat> and and one of the things that, you know, that you were mentioning before, the male contractor, you know, who um, assaulted uh, Andrea uh, Goldstein, you know, uh, at the facility, you know, uh, what she mentioned was, you know, he bumped his entire body against mine and told me I looked like I needed a smile and a good time. And that that was her, you know, statement to. And you can't look at something like that. And you know, this is a contractor who is not uh, wearing a uniform, also. Okay. And if you are if you are wearing a uniform, this behavior is absolutely unacceptable. And it's especially unacceptable for someone outside to come into your your service unit and uh, you know assault people within your own unit. She is a soldier. Or she's a, a na- you know a corpsman or a navy person or air force. It doesn't make a difference what branch you're in. Uh, we should not be allow our uh, service members, who are f- fellow service members, peers, to be assaulted. That is just unconscionable. We should not be allowing that to happen. So it should be a, a general message to everyone, right? Right, but we have to remember that Wilkie was serving a president mm-hmm. who said, you know, who broadcast. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not even going to say it, what he said about women, you know, before he was elected. And people disregarded that Mm -hmm. and elected him. Um, And Wilkie uh, was serving a president Mm -hmm. who was elected and supported by people in spite of his racist comments, in spite of his homophobia, in spite of his comments about immigrants and um, in spite of his comments about other countries and and in spite of his dissing of veterans and service members as losers and suckers. Okay, well, we're running out of time. Uh, So for uh, VHPI, what is the uh, site they can go to? Is there a phone number or anything that people can find out more about this uh, very quickly? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's veterans. If you go online, it's veteranspolicy.org. Okay. 